Good evening and welcome again. As promised in my last video with the Arning 8008, I told you I will show you how to check the quality of the meter probes, the copper quality of the meter probes without cutting them. So, because I don't want to destroy them. And I already prepared something. I have using the AN8008 to measure the voltage and the 8002 for measuring the amps. Amp is really not necessary, but I want to show you. I'm using my bench power supply. I set it up to five volt and four amps. And what I will do is, I just will make a shortcut, you know? Uh, switching on first. I'm having a cable where I know it has good quality, a wire that has good quality. I'm using a reverence. I call it a singer's cable. It is this one, I use it to build all my measurement cables, all the test leads and it's good quality, it was not cheap, it was about two bucks for one meter or three bucks for one meter and um, yeah, it is good quality. So I will make, uh, and this I prepare already, I open this so I can measure the voltage directly at the shortcut. So, um, the this measurement cables, this cables, this lead won't affect any of the measurement. So I will measure how many willy milli volt will be drop at this cable, and I cut it to the same size than the Anning um, probe cables it come with. So this has the length of the whole probe. So and what I will do is just make a shortcut with it because at the shortcut I have maximum amps and when amps go through a cable, the cable has a resistance, I will measure how many millivolt will drop over the cable because a cable is nothing else than a resistor. There's the resistor. Here I put in some amps, we call it E. And the maximum I put in is 4 amp. So, and then some voltage will be dropped above this cable, above the resistor. And in this case, with a singer's cable, I got in 57.36 millivolt. Uh, I should make more plays, I think. I think I should more have more plays. 57.37 millivolt is what is dropped at Singer's Cable. And it is 4 amp with this. You can also, um, now you can also say how much power is this, uh, this, shit, don't know the English word, is just burn in this cable. No, this cable won't get warm of 57 millivolt times 4 amps. Where's the calculator? Where's my calculator? I'm using my handy tool, so this. I have to use the old Texas Instruments style one. I didn't use it for decades. So, oh my gosh. So, Anzeiger, yes. I have something. So, I have 4 amps. 4 amps times. You're getting too light. Times 0 millivolt at this cable and so this cable is dissip dissipating about 200 milliwatt 200 milliwatt yeah maybe maybe someone can correct me not sure didn't do it long time but should be right yes so doesn't get warm from 200 milliwatt I just unplug it you hear my power supply getting Less noise, but this cable is 57 millivolt. Of course with the millivolt and the ampere going through You can also get the resistance um, You know the U gleich R times E U we have and E we have we are searching for, for R R gleich um, U divided by I so, yes, mm. oh, this is long time ago in school that we do this. Yes, it was really long time ago. 
Uh, I have to get back to voltage, to the real volt. So 57 is 0 0.0537. Divided by four. So we have one ohm, one hundred milliohm, fourteen milliohm. Yes, should be right, not mac ohm, milli ohm, micro. Yes, the I write it like here. Don't want to make it too complicated. 0 0.014 ohms. Oh my gosh. You can check it out by yourself when you want. But should be right. So next one is the cable from the 802. I choose the red one. I know the 808 is red, um, but doesn't matter. I choose the red one. This will be the cable for the 802. Delivered comes with the 802. It's a little bit tricky because I have to go in there. Maybe press it and going to the shortcut oh my gosh yeah we still have four amps but the milliwatt range of the an 8008 said overload so i have definitely more yeah i have four times the same length has four times of milliwatt so it's two two four point six milliwatt so we already know the cable, the probe lead this come comes with the anang is not so good than the one I'm using. My cables, my cables that I built are better. So two two four six. Uh, you have can do the same things to get the ohms, and we can check it later if it is right. But I think this is a more precise way to find out the resistance of this cable than using the uh, multimeters. So because you will always measure the cables itself and this is really a very low value for this one if I don't make it wrong. But I don't think that I make it wrong. I'm sure I make it right. So we will see because when I make it right this should be something higher now. So ooh, voltage divided by amps. Amps is still about 4 amps. 0 0.2246. I should get a bigger calculator. Divided by 4 amps. Its results is 0 0.056 ohm. Yeah. It's about 3, 4 times. Yeah. The resistance and that means more voltage drop over it and when you measure like you're using for measuring amps with these leads you are getting missed results because these wires have some resistance and this cable has a higher resistance than this so unplug it and the noise stopped from the power supply and to be honest this cable gets a little bit warm not so warm that it burns but it gets warm so we are coming to the cable delivered with the AN808. Not sure if there's any different, but we do the same way. Just get this in there. I'm really pressing it tight so I'm not changing the results. And making the same. And to be honest, I don't think that I make something wrong with the first test. I'm getting again 231. Uh, it's a little bit higher already. 231.3 millivolt. That will also be something about 0 0.055 ish more 8. Don't want to type in now. And at least I'm getting the probe cable from the best multimeter DMM I have. It's the one delivered with the Unity one. And let's see if there's a different. If they use something better or not. I'm really wondering what they are using. So, and going to the shortcut. Yes, we have 117, 119 millivolt. So, 
the Unity has a better lead, a better probe cable than the Unning one. And we find it out without destroying any cable. I think that is great. We didn't destroy any of the cables. And someone is beeping, making noise because I'm taking too long for checking this. But doesn't matter. I check the quality of the cable without cutting it. Um, yeah, when this is 230, this is 117. The, this should be about half of it. Two, two, five, two, 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 fifty-eight divided by two is uh, twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. So the winner is my self-made cable. Um, this really has still the best values. Um, maybe it's because only a straight cable, straight cable. We don't have this um, connected to some metal. I think there are some soldering points, or it's pressed. I don't know. And this can also result in a higher, um, in a higher resistant. But you see, you can check a cable without destroying it. Maybe at the last. Yes, at the last part for this video, we have to destroy something. Let me get the very thin cable I have. This cable here. Get some of it. Get some of this cable. Get some of the plastic away to make connection. Yeah, I think for end of this video, because also my daughter is going down now. It's, yeah, I have to figure out. Yeah, this is not prepare. You see, I never prepare any for the videos. Uh, when I prepare, it's a little bit better. But this is not prepared. This is just an idea I just have now. I want to see what happened if I use this very thin wire. And will it burn? Will it plant? We will see. Um, but this, I switch off the power supply first. I don't want that it start to burn when I hold it in my fingers. So. Yeah, it will not burn yet. I really have problems to get connection to this rear cable. Sorry, the cable is weird, but I promised you that I will show you the burning cable. Oh, wait. And I burn it with some fire at the end to burn the plastic away I should be able to make some contact so we can see how different is the thin wire uh, we are already at vault and I think I need the vault should just put it like this yes and we are starting the power supply. Yeah, you already see the cable is moving. It's moving, we are dissipating three volt, four amps. This is already three times four, as a three volt, mm, I can already smell it. Three times four, it's already 12 watt. So in this cable, we are dissipating 12 watt. And you're seeing it's a little bit rising because of the heat, the resistance going up. And we are growing about 2 or 3.6. So uh, this is really th about 3 volts. So the resistance is very high. And because of it's getting hot, the resistance is getting higher. So, But it's not burning yet. It just uh, feels weird. And I don't want to touch it. That can go horrible wrong. I hope it goes horrible wrong. Start to burn. It's sad. And because I only have... I'm going up to 5. It's Give all. I, I put yes. Now I'm, yeah. I'm just changed the settings of the power supplies. We have six volt already, five amps. So at the moment we have six point two at five point two. This is about, yeah. I can already smell it. This is about thirty watt. Yes, and maybe. Hey, yeah. The plastic is melting. Okay, this is a little bit exciting. Finally, something exciting happened in the video. Uh, yeah. Okay, smokes come out. Oh, the isolation is falling. I can hear something is doing. And yes, 
Yeah, that happened when the wire is too thin. When you're using a too thin wire, it's heating up. Okay, this is really a bad example. This is very thin wire, but I'm wondering that it still hold. It's still holding six amp, uh, six volt, and five point two amps over thirty watt. Okay, I should open the window. It's getting a little bit. <coughs> yeah, more steam is coming out, and yeah, maybe you can see the insulation is is just failing. There's no ah, should not put it on the DMMs. Yes, you see. You can check the quality of a wire without destroying it. Even uh, only when it is very poor wire, it will destroy itself when you check it with this. Okay, switching off. <sighs> Getting away of the magic smoke. No, it's not magic smoke. This is just plastic smoke. Switching off the things here. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, I should really get another calculator. And maybe I should prepare a little bit for the next video, but it's more fun when you don't be prepared. Just start it. Okay? Hope you enjoy. Bye bye. See you next time.